Hello first graders, here we are again with part three of Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day by Judith Viorst, illustrated by Ray Cruz. Now when we first did the video of part one, I asked you to look at the pictures and as we go along you will notice that okay you see the front cover and you notice the pictures you notice Alexander's face but as we went along in the book you would notice something about the pictures I'm gonna turn and show you we have already read this page This one, I hope you can see what I'm looking for, something about the pages, look at all the pictures. When we come together, I will ask you about this. What do you think about these pictures? I think that you would notice, of course, in each picture how Alexander looks. Now we're on to this part of the story. And we will begin, look at this picture. Okay. Here we go. I know you were able to listen to it before, but now you will get to read it again for a different purpose. So here we go. That's what it was. Because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I'm going to Australia. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. Ah! And while we were waiting for my mom to get in the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a cry baby. And while I was punching Nick for saying cry baby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I told everybody. No one even answered. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose the white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose ones, red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes, but then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them What is Alexander's problem right now? Where is he? What's the setting? What time of day is it? Can you list the events that took place in this section of the story in order in which they came? 
I will also ask you to do a sheet to summarize a part of the book. The sheet is called a somebody wanted but so sheet. I will show you what it's like. The somebody would be one of the characters. I would say Alexander wanted. What did he want? But what happened instead? So what did he do? For example, let's go back to a part that he did that happened before. When he went to recess, somebody, Alexander, wanted to be uh, wanted to be best friends with uh, with Philip Moyo and the others. But he was told that he was only the best, the third best friend. So he decided to talk to his friend Mean and say he wishes ice cream cone would fall and land in Australia, the ice cream part, something like that. So that would be the assignment that we would have. Okay, see you next time.